you wanted the best, you've got the best podcast. The hottest, hottest. podcast in the, world. in the world. The Chris Voss Show, the preeminent podcast with guests so smart you may experience serious brain bleed. The CEOs, authors, thought leaders, visionaries, and motivators. Get ready, get ready. Strap yourself in. Keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Because you're about to go on a monster education roller coaster with your brain. Now, here's your host, Chris Voss. Hi, folks. It's Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com. Thechrisvossshow.com. Welcome to the big show, our family and friends. Welcome to Chris Voss Show family, the place where you sit down every day on the couch and we just get around and we eat some nachos and chips and, uh, I don't know, we, uh, drink a beer. Uh, you don't have to drink a beer. I don't drink anymore. And then we, uh, I don't know, watch the podcast or something. Is that what people do when they're watching the podcast? People don't listen to the po- watch the podcast because they listen to it. Anyway, guys, uh, be sure as always refer the show to your family, friends, and relatives, because we need more listeners. We're pumping out two to three shows a weekday. 10 to 15 a week, and we're trying to get to a 1,000 shows this year. Do you know we did 650 shows last year in, like, 260 work days because we don't do weekends? That's how crazy we are. And there's so much good stuff for you to do and so many brilliant minds. And once again, no surprise to anyone's because you've been listening for 15 years. We have the smartest guests on the show. We have another gentleman on the show who's joining us today. We're going to be talking about wellness and health and healing uh, which is like what I need, mostly a frontal lobotomy, but let's uh, let's be honest, uh, you know, I, I need all the help I can get. Simone Ludi is joining us on the show today. He's going to be talking to us about his company, his uh, startup, and entrepreneurism, and wellness, and kind of his life journey that led him down this road. Uh, he is a transformational and customer-centric executive who ensures the well-being of employees and boosts organizational effectiveness by devising robust strategies, facilitating innovation, and launching system-wide changes. As an expert in health, wellness, and travel who provides inspiring thought leadership, he cultivates a culture of mindfulness that yields team satisfaction, loyalty, retention, and enables employee development. Everyone wants that these days. He's a CEO and founder of Healthy dot world and it's kind of spelled interesting we'll get into that as a unique wellness as a service software platform he helps companies save money on healthcare costs and encouraging their employees to stay or get healthy because that saves everybody you know life is good um he serves as the founder uh and wellness chief wellness officer at sacred healing llc where he's leveraged a personal health crisis to enhance the well-being of 300 plus clients focusing on focusing on healing trauma physical pain and mental and emotional limitations. And he's the creator of Applied Neurocellular Therapy, which combines modern technology, ancient wisdom, and a unique, powerful healing modality. Welcome to the show. How are you, sir? I'm good, Chris. How are you? I am excellent. Didn't that just give you the brain bleed? I was just thinking of like the intro, you know, like just the bio itself. It's Monday for me. It's a good bio. It's Monday for me. So I'm still kind of brain bleeding. Uh, It's kind of funny. We do all those shows all week long. And then I, and then I just go try and forget about everything for the weekend. And I come back on Monday. I'm like, how do you work the show again? Which buttons do I push? I think there's some sort of, uh, you know, how women have that thing where they have a baby and they forget all the pain that went into it. And they're just like, I'm going to have another. And you're like, do you remember? last time <laughs> yeah, or the time before you know the three times before that and uh, i guess that's how i am but i love the show and it isn't a pain so uh give us uh, uh let's run through the dot coms or dot health as it were uh so that people have all your plugs look at all the plugs in yeah thanks thanks Chris, for having me um you know this all started about seven years ago when i had my own health crisis i was uh couldn't even get out of bed my hands were swollen shot. I was, wow. you know, what you do, you go to the best clinics, uh, you know, that, that you have around that nobody could figure out what the hell was going on with me mm-hmm. uh, until I was uh, ended up being misdiagnosed. Um, and that really started my own journey of like figuring out, hey, like healthcare in America is broken. We got to do something about it. Uh, you know, we got to help people. It can't be that people are running from doctor to doctor to doctor, can't figure it out. And you throw a bunch of pills at it. So yeah. that's really what what kind of this started for me, um, starting with sacred healing, like you mentioned, uh, my own private energy practice. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, now really in the early stages of my startup, Healthy.World. And I'm excited mm-hmm. to uh, share, you know, what I've learned and hopefully help some listeners along the way. And I think you had a battle with cancer, too, after that, right? 
you know 2020 is one of those years that you probably should just blow up like you yeah, know first yeah. you have the pandemic and then june that's right yeah i, got, I had about with cancer i'm happy to say i'm completely healthy awesome as a result of it but you know it seems like when the man above like throws some stuff at you you just you know take it as it goes and and make the best out of it it's a bit of a sadist from what i understand that's why i'm an atheist uh <laughs> he's got to get some interesting attitudes about throwing things at people but you know he's god so he's on the pit um omnipotent and clearly i can't even pronounce it so he probably can isn't that uh, like joe almighty with uh you know smite me you all might be smiter so uh you know that's kind of how i felt about 2020 <laughs> yeah we, we all kind of got smitten in 2020 with something i heard about it um yeah so uh it's still wandering around so uh let's get into it um so uh, you you decide that uh, you get diagnosed with this and and they throw you a bunch of stuff where do you kind of get to this healing part? Where do you discover that, hey, man, maybe taking pills with 50,000 um, side effects that you got to take more pills for to counter those side effects? And they have side effects. You got to take it. How did you get down this road? You know, it's been interesting for me. I think I've always been connected with the right people at the right uh, journey in, in my life. Um, mm -hmm. You know, as I said, I, I found myself not getting out of bed, but I have to tell uh, or give the, the doctor things. He did, he said one quick thing. He said, all right, well, I'm going to put you on this uh, malaria medication and I need you to go see an ophthalmologist because there's a small chance that you could go blind. And I go, my eyes are the only fucking thing that are working. Yeah, right yeah. Now. Like, why would I, why would I mess with it? But you know, thank you, doc. Did that was really great. Blind. That really started me on the journey of like, there's gotta be something else out there. I wanted to get to the bottom of it. Um, mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to, uh, I'm Swiss by birth. So I knew of a clinic in Switzerland mm. that I could go to and they deal with a lot of end of the road where the American system fails. And oh. I was finally properly diagnosed. So it, it ended up actually being a, a heavy metal toxicity, uh, oh, a food really? poisoning uh, or a food allergy that I've had. And uh, all of that really could be cured by, by applying the right, uh, you know, chelation therapy. So that's where a lot of my physical health at least started to uh, come back. I had a friend who went to Switzerland for some therapy that was kind of uh, unique and holistic. I wonder if it's the same company. It was kind of weird. Uh, I'll have to look into it. He did, he was really vague about the whole thing because on Facebook, everyone's like, what are you doing? You know, that whole sort of thing. But obviously, it worked for you, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's you know, it's amazing when you can't get out of bed and then you actually do the right treatments and you, uh, mm -hmm. you know, can, can dance again. Like, as I said, I don't I don't take any medication. I, I take a couple supplements. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, more like good vitamins and minerals, but uh, I don't take any any pharmaceuticals anymore. There you go. And neither do I. Wink, wink. Nothing from wink, Las wink. Vegas. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> might be a little herb there every now and then, but not, not in any uh, quantity. <laughs> so um, tell us a bit. So what's the first company you start? Because you're in a few different things. Walk us through the timeline. Yeah, so I've been in uh, in corporate for thirty years. So I worked for. Can I even? That'll make it. Let's just say it's a, it's a large credit card company that I work for. Yeah. Uh, you know that uh, also has a blue background for those that wonder. <laughs> um, and uh, I've been in been in in travel and in financial services for a lot of time. Then I had my first startup uh, back in twenty twelve that uh, dealt with business travel and expense management. Um, and really open up my eyes. Like they always say, startup is not for the faint of heart. Um, you know, like there's always um, pivoting and uh, doing a little bit of left turn and right turn. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I'm now in my early 50s and, and I felt like I have still some gas left in the tank. I hope based so. on my I'm, own health story. I'm there too with you. Are you? Congratulations. I hope, I'm 55. I hope there's gas in the tank. I'm checking it. It's running on empty. <laughs> hey, if you're getting Jackson. to a thousand shows, you still are yeah. doing a good job. It's running on empty, as Jackson Brown used to say, but uh, I'm trying. Yep. And uh, so I just started um, Healthy.World. As, as I said, it's a, a wellness and software company that is going to provide adjacent health benefits to employers and their employees because, you know, post COVID, post pandemic, um, you know, employees are looking for companies and employers that care. And at the same token, you know, we can't continue um, going down, you know, the road of just popping pills left and right. It's really about, you know, taking care of our physical bodies, taking care of our mental, bo uh, mental bodies as well. And, and that's really what this is going to be focused on. There you go. And, you know, having employees around is a pretty cool idea. Um, you know, uh, you, uh, you want your employees to be healthy because if they're sick and in the hospital all the time, well, you can't, you can't uh you can't drive them like mules and 
work harder damn it no i'm just kidding don't do that people that's a joke don't worry yeah about and, you know and, and authenticity is just big right i mean uh -huh. there's too many people out there that are just you know driving to the boss the boss ego game uh but one of the things i've learned was uh you know showing up authentically myself and i become a little bit of the the green smoothie um evangelist <laughs> Uh, but really, this is one of those things that that I believe in in the morning. You know, not putting a whole lot of carbs in, but uh, you know, eating uh, healthier. Get that green and, smoothie. What do you got in that green smoothie, by the way? Uh, it's pretty pretty simple. It has uh, coconut water. It has kale. It has a pear. It has some avocado, coconut lemon juice, really some ginger. Um, there you go, ginger. That's good too. Get a little bit of spice in the morning as well. I like that. There you go. Uh, yeah, I, I was trying to get. I was learning that. Uh, most people, I think it's like 96% of people are potassium deficiency, deficient, deficiency, either one, pick your choose. Um, and I was reading about it and I was, so I was trying to come up with ways to try and, and you need like 500 grams or milligrams of potassium a day or 5,000 actually, which is quite a lot, like a lot. And I, I was reading about it and of course I'm, I'm, you know, working out, going to the gym and uh uh so I, I, I was looking at beet tops and all these different you know bananas you can eat but there's a high glycemic hit that you take in sugar um and so i was looking at a lot of different things and i found coconut water um and i buy these cans at the store that have uh about a thousand milligrams or milligrams or milligram whatever they have a thousand of the five thousand i need in one can for uh to get my potassium up and so if i just drink four or five of those a day I've got my sh my stuff. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, absolutely. In, in fact, a good friend of mine uh, almost thought he had a heart attack on a business trip and then came oh, out wow. to be potassium deficient. So that was uh, yeah. how they found out. Now, granted, you know you're doing you're doing the right thing, but and and you probably hate me saying this, but you know a lot of the stuff has to do with healthy liver and uh, you yeah. know healthy lymphatic system because that also influences a healthy heart. So there's you know some other things. Yeah. That, that, I drank for 20 years uh, hard, so uh, my liver left a long time ago. It's like, we're out. Bye. See you. So, well, the good news is with the liver, it, it regenerates itself. That's every, true. Uh, every, you know, every that's true. Months, it's, uh, you know, yeah. it's not too late. We're in union talks right now, so we're going to see if we can work that out and uh, <laughs> see if we can all get along, but that's beside the point. Uh, so let's get into uh, what do you do for clients? How do you help them with your company? I am understanding it's the SaaS service too as well. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we're really an adjacent uh, benefits company, meaning, you know, for the time being, we're working more on alternative, you know, treatments, acupuncture, nutrition, you know, all the things that you don't get. And it's it's really about keeping people healthy or getting them healthy if they're mm -hmm. in the middle of a health crisis. Um, you know, we've got uh, a rewards uh, built in as well because a lot of people fall off the wagon, right? I yeah. mean, you, you've been there, I've been there, you have New Year's resolutions and then, I don't know, like it gets too I tired. I always thought you were supposed to back. fall off the wagon. I thought that was half the fun. And, uh, you know, one of the things we did find uh, is that if you give people tools to, you know, be rewarded, uh, that mm -hmm. that is really, you know, keep, keeping, you, keeping you engaged, whether that's, you know, free meals, free massages, uh, all that good stuff. I'm into all that. There you go. Anything free, pretty much. You know, that's how I roll. Uh, so you, you, so do you sell this to companies per se or individuals? No, it's it's uh, it, we're selling it or getting ready to sell it to companies, right? This is really okay. something that we want to give to them mm -hmm. uh, so that they can in turn uh, turn it or give it to their employees as well. Uh, and really, what what we believe we have a, a hypothesis that as you lean into the overall health and wellness. Uh, you should be able to drive down your health cost liability as well. Like next mm -hmm. to salary benefits is the largest expense that a company has. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's really, I think, the next frontier. Definitely. I mean, the cost for health and the cost for downtime when someone's really sick, like I've had, uh, I've had top producers, they'll be out for a while. Um, they'll come down with something or, you know, something will happen. And, uh, if they're down for a long time, it can really affect your bottom line. In fact, if they're one of the top producers, you're like really screwed. So, um, yeah, it makes all the difference in the world. And then the costs, uh, you know, companies don't, a lot of people don't understand when you, when you're a company, you buy a policy, it's a, you know, blanket policy, not really blanket, but you know what I mean? The, uh, the health of all your workers factors into it. 
So you have one person or a few people who are very sick and using up all the health things. I mean, that's just a fact of life. You're always going to have those people on the curve. But, you know, it increases the pol policy cost for the company and, and everyone else, actually, in the pool. So um, there you go. There you go. Uh, so give us a... Uh, there, now there's, uh, do we cover the other company that you have? I think. Yeah. So sacred healing is, uh, is my private practice. As I mentioned, that's really where the applied neurocellular therapy is coming out mm -hmm. of. Um, so this is something that I've gotten into while I was sick the first time around. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're getting a little bit into the woo woo aspect of, of all of this, right? So okay. can you actually heal people by, you know, by putting hands on and, uh, but it's really uh, ancient wisdom that's been around for thousands of years, right? Mm -hmm. uh, even if you think about a mom that, uh, you know, a, a child falls, it's what you do the first thing you put the hand on, you know, rub the knee or, you know, rub the hand and all that. So that's really a little bit of what this, what this is all about. In fact, there's studies that if you have an energy healer um, at a surgeon's, you know, if somebody goes through surgery uh, and you have an energy healer there that you have a 30 to 40% faster recovery rate, what? Then it's somebody that's not there. So there's something there. You can't, science can't really prove it. Hmm. Uh, but it, it's a fascinating, uh, you know, topic that I got interested in in 16 and still, you know, to this day, seeing clients every day. Well, we've had metaphysical people, not metaphysical. We've had uh, yeah. people on that study the body and, uh, you know, what it does. I'm trying to think of the scientific term. But there's something about human touch. Uh, humans being near each other, we do give off an energy. There's dopamine and, and different things that happen in the brain. Serotonin, dopamine hits when we see each other's faces. I mean, when we're sitting here looking at each other right now, there's serotonin and dopamine. I think, I don't know which one it is, but there's there's different things that we're doing and then our brain is interacting with um, that is running chemicals that's keeping everything going, keeping my stupid mouth running. Uh, and... Uh, and so there's 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 uh, something to that. I really believe you know you can sense people are are nearby you, especially the close by, or you know hugging, holding, touching. There's all sorts of things that sets off in the brain. That's one of the problems we have with these two D cell phones and stuff like that. But um, so you develop this, you you help clients. How do the clients reach out to you and find out more about that and work with you? Yeah, that's right. So um, you know, just to you know add to that. I've had people with chronic nerve pain that were going from doctor to doctor to doctor, also from well. treatment there, you know, they're well. Um, and, uh, you know, I get a lot of folks that are coming through the website. Um, I work with other naturopathic docs. I work with osteopaths. I work with chiropractors and even chiropractors, you know, like everybody is going to a chiropractor to get adjusted. But even those guys will say, you know, I can't do more. You need to do something else. And so that's sort of like where, where I come in. Hmm. There and we're go. really healing deeply, you know, karmic related stuff, ancestral things, um, mm -hmm. you know, stuff that you've gone through yourself, you know, through our upbringing, our families and all that. So it's, it's pretty interesting when you start to heal on not just the physical side, but the, the emotional, the intellectual and the, uh, the spiritual side of things that stuff just can, you know, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that people attach emotionally in trauma. And I think we had some on the show talking about this where if, you know, when you have a traumatic experience or some sort of event or something that puts you in fight or flight mode, it can leave a, an emotional imprint and exactly. that affects you. Like, you know, a good example is if, I don't know, you, you get on a train and it crashes, you ride in a car and it crashes, your, your brain apprehensively just to protect you will be like, Hey, I don't know about that whole car thing. Um, every time you get in a car, it's just, it's going to be there. And so, yeah, there's some people that need, uh cleaning and and uh, different things to recognize that 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 emotion is there the body keeps the score no doubt and yeah, there you uh, go. You know, that's really where the applied neurocellular therapy is coming in uh you know what was interesting to me i have clients or i would say i have three types of clients i have the once and done they come one time they're healthy they're you know off and running i have others that have to come a couple times and I have others that it doesn't work at all mm -hmm. and i was really fascinated by that latter one right so mm -hmm. i'm doing the same thing what is it is it something you know in their attitude you know that they feel like well i don't know we'll try it if, you know if it doesn't work it doesn't hurt uh you know that kind of stuff but what i found was what was really fascinated is that there is some kind of neurological pathway to the cell structure and if that mm -hmm. can be interrupted just long enough 
mm -hmm. uh, so that you can go in on the body that you can actually go much, much, much deeper. So, you know, we're talking pain removal, we're talking about PTSD, we're talking about, you know, deeply traumatic experience, like you mentioned, that can just be eradicated. There you go. I was just listening to Sam Harris's podcast uh, recently. You know, he had an older guest on from a ways back, and I was listening to it, and they were talking about you know meditation and transcendentalism and duality and things of that nature. And one of the things they were talking about was that um, why people can be given a pill that's a placebo and it will work for them. Yep. Uh, and people they are given a normal pill, you know, and do the same. And they talk about why the brain can operate that way and why there's a lot of self-healing that can take place uh, because of the power of, you know, it's, I don't, I don't want to woo-woo it and call it positive, motive, positive, whatever, but the brain thinks it and makes it happen. I mean, it's, we're kind of an amazing body when it comes down to it, at least not mine. That's what they tell me on Tinder. <laughs> no, I mean, absolutely right, right? The body can heal itself if you give it if you give it a chance. So, you know, in some cases it's nutrition, but like you said, the, the, the positive mindset and, you know, positive affirmations absolutely can have, uh, you know, a big impact. Definitely. And, you know, in fact, the, there's, you know, if we want to get a little bit into the, you know, the spiritual side of things, you know, there's the, the law of attraction. So there's, uh, people probably talk about it. So there's the, the Joe Dispenza's out there or the Bruce Lifton's of the world. Uh, you know, that talk a little bit about the biology of belief. But what I mean by that is, uh, and it drove my ex-wife crazy. I could manifest a free parking spot in front of the restaurant uh -oh. every single time. Like I said, I will find that free parking or, or the, the open parking spot in front. I don't want to walk. And it happens every time. Why is that? Right? Is that uh, because we're giving it positive energy into the universe? Same with same with the healing abilities, right? I think if we're staying positive and open to it, lots can happen. Definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, there is a lot of background on that. Like I said, there's the there's the thing with uh, where people, you know, just having a positive mental attitude. Um, we had uh, a, a leadership coach from West Point who runs the big leadership training program there for many years. He came on the show and he wrote a book about how. You know, sometimes just having confidence and you know, fake it a little, make it, but you do have to do the work um, can make all the difference because convincing your brain of, you know, Olympiads and NFL players, they all use this technology, you know, thinking uh, helps you kind of achieve what you want to take and do. You have something you called um, Flossen. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Flossen? Flossen. Yeah. 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 What is that? Um, so... <laughs> Based on the whole positive mindset, um, I created um, this campaign called Flossum, and it's basically a work game out of flaws and, and awesome. Oh, okay. Right? And it basically talks a little bit about, hey, from the moment we open our eyes um, as a baby, we kind of see the world you know, through this outside lens. We never really qualify whether what I'm seeing is right or wrong, but you know, so if somebody wears these shoes or, you know, like, why do we think, oh, I'm too fat or, oh, it's, you know, gray hair, no, but, you know, hair is going out and all that stuff. Um, so what I'm really trying to do with this campaign is to accept our flaws and embrace them and really, you know, achieve greatness through all of that stuff. So I think focus less on what you're not good at and, and focus more on the stuff that you're really, really, really strong that's good advice because the stuff that you're strong at is usually the stuff you're going to like doing a whole lot better than if you try to do something. Like if I ever was like, hey, I want to become an Olympic swimmer, that does not sound fun to me at all. But, you know, I might get this attitude like, we're going to make this work and I'm becoming an Olympic swimmer. And, of course, at 55, it's probably little not on my radar. Um, never know. Never know. You might just that's have, true. You might I jump in and do having it. a negative attitude here. <laughs> I've been corrected. So there you go. You um, just don't want to get up at six in the morning to jump. That is, you are oh, correct, sir. You. you are correct, sir. And uh, all that other stuff, that whole swimming thing. Like I'm like, can I call somebody? They can do that for me. That'd be just fine. <laughs> so there you go. Um, but uh, let's see. What else have we talked about? Discussed about your business and how you guys do things. So uh, one of the things um, that I just wanted to touch base on is the applied neurocellular therapy, right? So uh, talks a bit about using modern technology and ancient wisdom. So I don't know whether a lot of people know about that. There's a, a, a company in Germany, they have a tool out called Global Diagnostics. 
And they actually worked with NASA to uh, to treat people in uh, or astronauts on the space station. So if you think oh, about wow. it, you can take the whole freaking pharmacy up there. Well, I guess you could, but you know, like on on small spaces, you can't really do that. So what they found is that um, it's actually possible to send medication and or supplements um, through time and space up there to treat them. Oh, wow. um, and so that's a little out there in terms of, but if, if we're all vibrational beings and we're all connected, like, you know, it should be possible to do that. So um, that's one thing that I've started a couple of years ago uh, with global diagnostics and a little tool called Healy. Maybe, you know, some of your listeners know it. Um, and you can do a bunch of stuff uh, in, in kind of the remote things, whether that's, you know, sending remote um, homeopathics. And it's pretty crazy to like do a, um, um, a, diagno a diagnosis on it and be pretty freaking accurate in terms of what shows up, whether that's, you know, skin issues or whether that's hormonal imbalances and all that. Um, and then uh, I just kind of could never really pinpoint it all the way down. So uh, the latest thing that I'm, that I'm using in my practice is a hypnagogic lamp. Uh, think of it as a uh, LED color and stroboscope that basically activates your alpha, beta, theta, delta uh, waves and huh. your pineal gland. And huh. I'm coming back again to like, you, it's basically an LSD trip without drugs. Like, huh. yeah, like, you know, had we had this in the 60s, Nixon probably didn't have to like, you know, kill all the drugs. We could have just done that like artificially. Well, he's trying to get people not to vote too. That was part <laughs> of it. He was targeting a group of people. They didn't want to vote. But, you know, I mean, that whole stuff is coming back now. So all the psilocybins and, the you know, the micro and macro dosing now of all that stuff. So what I'm doing is it's a completely drug-free um, induction of, of healing energies. And it goes back into, like, severing the neurological pathways from the cellular structure so that the body can heal much, much, much faster. There you go. There you go. That's that's all the, uh, you know, anything that can make everybody heal faster, that's definitely ideal. Definitely. Um, so anything more we haven't touched on before we go out or any of your final thoughts? Um, I would just, uh, you know, basically say my story um, is really kind of the phoenix rising from the ashes. So, you know, if I can heal from what I had twice now mm -hmm. uh, in a couple of these, you know, healing practices, like anyone can really heal, I would say, you know, encourage. And, and this, this, this isn't just about diet and exercise because everybody will tell you, like, you know, eat healthier and go exercise. <laughs> You know, for me, it's really about a positive mindset. Um, so, you know, my encouragement to everyone is, you know, get up in the morning, practice thankfulness, not just mindfulness, but thankfulness, being alive. And uh, and that can do wonders for you as well. Definitely. I think there's some science behind that, too, about gratefulness and and uh, the energy and the feeling you get from it, what it tells your body that, hey, I'm doing a good job. You know, it's like a pat on the back instead of just kicking yourself all the time going, I suck. Yeah, that's right that's exactly right. and uh yeah no thanks for letting me be uh on your show i um I, I would also say anyone that is interested in hearing more about what we're up to at healthy or become an investor become involved uh you know please reach out to me would love to have a conversation there you go uh it's been wonderful to have you on the show give us all the dots comms or dots uh, uh health all that stuff yeah so healthy.world sacredhealing.us or simonlucci.com Simone, thank you very much for coming to the show. We really appreciate it, man. Thanks, Chris. It was fun. There you go. And thanks, so much for tuning in. Go to goodreads.com, Fortress Chris Foss, LinkedIn.com, Fortress Chris Foss, YouTube.com, Fortress Chris Foss, and Chris Foss One on TikTok. Thanks for being here. Stay tuned for future uh, wonderful episodes and guests, and we'll see you guys next time.